I want to live a life of a free imagination. I want to work with people in around this continent to make new exciting things, to make sci-fi things and to make stories and to make pictures. I want this generation of young parents to have their kids see Africans writing their own stories, painting their own stories. That simple act, I think that's the most political act that one can have. I want to see a continent where every kind of person's imagination is not, does not have to look for being allowed. Me, I'm an African and I'm a Pan-Africanist. You know, I want to see this continent change. Is photocopy, I, me, I can't do photocopy, guys. You know, me, I just tell you life. I'm prepared even to say I have rewinded and I've confessed and I'm no longer homosexual. So long as you give me a contract and says, I'm not photocopying. I'm not photocopying. I'm not photocopying. As guys, what you have is the same school that said, bring the obedient children of you Africans to the school so that you can become clerks. And then we drum a syllabus into you, make you go sing God Save the Queen. It's still the same idea, but you don't have an imagination. You can't imagine outside those parameters. You're scared of imagining. We don't have sci-fi. Me, I can't find sci-fi. Like people write stories, and all those stories, they're from the syllabus. The syllabus of, I don't know what you call moral boring, moral flat, moral crap, moral... Ho ho it's horrible. Yeah? And now that's where that happening is in the middle class. There, by the way, they're down there in sharks in my villages all over Africa. Guys imagine and die. guys do all kinds of shit. Me, I came out because my friend Carlotta died. And when they died, they were, the parents were kicked out of the church. In Kisumu, outside Kisumu. Poor, poor people. And they were like, oh, it's like that. You church step. When you went for the memorial, the church people were not there. Then they were like, bring all those friends of Carlotta's. No one was here to help us. Except saying you're kicking us out of the church. And... And what you have is, in that kind of simplicity is fine. But who has the opinion? The middle class. So you're like, okay, fine. See, Africa is rising. The middle class wants to do, you go and run to work for Barclays Bank. That is fine. But who's making new things? At, oh, we, we need to implement policies so we can have jobs. And then what guys send proposals, they're like, I want to trade. If I bring potatoes from Muranga to whatever, and then I make a profit, that is fine. So fine trade is cool. But now what do you make with those potatoes? How do we make new things? How do you have an education system that makes us think and innovate? Why do I feel like I've gone places where you sit with a bunch of kids and they challenge you in class, and here, to challenge a thing in class is to be bringing, as my math teacher used to call it, queer behavior. That is very queer behavior. The syllabus is a bullet point. And if you don't stay inside the syllabus, you will not pass your exam. And if you don't pass your exam, you will not go and work as a crack and die a miserable sad death necessarily. No, there are no options. The options in your life are the options when you are choosing your university selection. And university selection is number one, engineering. Number two, <laughs> number three, ICT. Number four, <laughs> all those things. So that then you can go and get a job in an international organization of which 2% of you get those jobs, then 98 don't. The idea that you are allowing an ecosystem to thrive is at the heart of our politics and at the heart of our future. We are now killing each other, many of us, in all kinds of ways. It's not so much that a gay and lesbian homosexual is dying, it's that people are dying in exactly the same boundary that the Mzungu made. The person who was divided like this is killing the other one the way the other person was divided, up to now. Right? That's a bankruptcy of a certain kind of imagination that we have. And it's our job, this generation, to say, as we are now in charge, we are in charge of our fate and in charge of our future. And we are not, we can agree not to cooperate, but we agree our ecosystem needs many kinds of things and many kinds of people in all kinds of ways. And that's not a peace deal, that's an offense. You have to make, you have to go into the offense to make new things. Otherwise, all it is is you queue at the visa office or you go out after Jobo by promising six months of your mshahara or you engage your kid in the army by paying, I hear now some guys even pay up to 300 thou to enter to be a private and you have two master's degrees. Or then you've been told the imagination that you have is just you can go and sell, go and sell fruits on trade. 
you to make a new thing. Ah, pana. That's a scary thing. And of course it was a scary thing because actually there was policy that said you can't make new things. There were jobs you couldn't get where you're making new things. You're not allowed to make new things. So everywhere new things were made were illegal. Matatu business. What we call Juakali. It is the place that you're not allowed to go and make that new thing. Right? And then city council was carried since 1920 chasing you when you're making your new thing. And you're the guy who's really thinking about making a new thing. And you're like, why can't they just be ironed and put outside so that why can't they get a job? Which is to say, why can't they just go and do what they are told by the boss somewhere far away? That's crap.